Hello and salam sati sejiwa. Simunjan Assemblyman Auladri said that electricity supply disruptions often occur around Simunjan district. He added that the disruption sometimes occur for a day without any advance notice from Sarawak Energy Berhad. He further said that the bridge facilities are also not equipped with electricity such as street lights to illuminate the surrounding area. According to him, the convenience of street lights in every village in Simunjan area is also very important as Simunjan is an alternative route for residents travelling to nearby areas. He said this in his debate at the 18th State Legislative Assembly. In the meantime, he said there are villages that have yet to receive electricity and are still relying on generators. The Sarawak state government will continue to use its constitutional power in order to generate more state revenue by collecting state-owned resources through constitutional power. Deputy Minister of Town Planning and Environmental Management, Dato' Len Talef Saleh said the state government was also in control and collections of products derived from sources such as quarries, land, sand, gravel, gas, oil, water, forest products and product based on non-timber resources as stipulated in the provisions of the State Land Court, the Minerals Ordinance 2004 and the Forestry Ordinance 2015. He further said that through the amendments to the 1958 Mining Minerals Ordinance 1958, the state government is also expected to increase the revenue from the oil and gas industry. In addition, the government through the Land and Survey Department also collects proceeds obtained from royalty, royalty fees and land tax, while Sarawak Forest Department collects royalties derived from forest products. He said this in his response to a question from Talian Assemblyman Yusip Norsh Balo concerning the government move to control and improve state revenue at the 18th State Legislative Assembly. The Sarawak Ministry of Local Government and Housing has proposed that Permai Jaya Tree site is used to implement 8,000 affordable housing projects promised in the manifesto of Miri MP Michael Tio. Assistant Minister of Housing and Public Health Dr Anwar Rapai said there were no plans to implement 278 affordable housing projects at Permai Jaya Tree, Kuala Baram, which had been delayed since it was approved by the State Planning Board on 10 November 2016. He added the 100-acre site was very suitable for the implementations of the project and that the project should be continued based on people's interests. He said this during a press conference at the 18th State Legislative Assembly in Kuching. Also planned to be built at Pramai Jaya Tree is 549 units of terrace houses, commercial and community facilities. Well, that's all for me and Manor Ruben. Thank you.